The new blocks will be podium plus seven floors, with flat sizes ranging from one to four bedrooms. At a press conference at number six, the chief minister confirmed this would be the JSLP Liberal government's fifth housing estate. With it replacing the one in Europort announced almost two years ago, on which work was expected to start in two months' time, I asked the housing minister whether the same estates keep getting re-announced, when in fact no new housing has been built in this term of office. We had the initial um, announcement of the three housing estates that we intended to, um, to construct. We had the launch of the first one, which was Hassan Centenary Terraces, at the end of last year, where the formal application process and the pricing has commenced. In fact, already we have, um, our uh, Gibraltar Residential Property Services have contacted in excess of 300 of those applicants. So that process has already commenced. People have already signed their purchase agreements. And obviously, we are talking about three major estates. So the purchase of these is being phased. The next one is Bob Belisa Muse, which, as you know, we announced um, formally with visuals a couple of weeks ago. And the pricing for that will be announced on the 8th of July. So the same application process, which we started for Hassan Centenary Terraces in December of last year, will commence in July for Bob Belisa Muse. And today we've launched Chatham Views, the, the third estate in this uh, wave of affordable housing. And the pricing and the, the um, application process for that will um, start in August. The minister said the shortage of land on the rock had to be carefully looked at in order to meet competing demands. She said housing was being delivered in a consistent and phased manner. The estate will include 44 rental homes for the elderly with their own parking spaces. What I particularly like about this is that we are repeating the formula that we started in um, in Monscalpe Muse, in that we have a block of purpose-built flats for the elderly within the estate. Now that makes a huge difference for family members who will be attracted to um, live there if they have family members living in the affordable housing. You know, we, we, in, in Gibraltar we're a close community, our families are close, uh, parents and grandparents like to live close to their children and the grandchildren. It helps in terms of uh, keeping company and, and helping out on childcare. It's a very successful model that we um, pioneered with the Master Lodge at Monscalpe Muse. We've repeated it at Bob Belisa Muse and, and here as well. The minister does not believe the criticism that not enough houses for rental are being built to be justified. She says the stock has been increased by 269 with a possible 153 government flats handed back by potential Hassan Centenary Terraces purchases. When we look at value for money in terms of construction, this is the best value for money that we can get, both in terms of providing the best quality property for that tenant and then the, the consequential effect that it will have on the housing waiting list because of the property that they release and the likelihood is that they will be larger properties. A lot of the people who will be allocated these larger properties will be themselves probably be releasing um, smaller properties from the rental stock. So we can tick a number of boxes in terms of the chain of, of allocations that we will succeed from, from uh, the result of these rental homes. The formula for all three developments will be the same. For potential purchasers wavering between the three, they're expected to be ready at more or less the same time, with the San Centenary Terraces having a slight head start. The criteria for application is the same and no one will be penalised if they refuse one estate in favour of another. People who may not have yet committed may be called for one before they are called for the other. But really, you know, people need to apply to purchase in, in the estate where they really want to live. Some people don't mind. Some people can't make up their minds in um, where they want to live because we already have a track record that in terms of construction, we build our affordable housing to a very high standard. So they'll all be of the same standard and ultimately people need to decide on their, their location. Ms Sacramento rejects accusations that the prices are not affordable, saying figures prove the contrary. Prices, she says, will always be cheaper than on the open market, with the added financial incentive of being able to buy in at 50-50.